Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Bejeweled 3. Take a moment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I usually don't show that till the end of the videos, but heck, I figured we'll try it at the beginning today. So, so many of these modes have just kind of not intrigued me. We're really just doing the quest for the next couple hours, I think. Uh, I would be alright with playing poker, I'm perfectly fine with playing the Zen mode, but the Zen mode doesn't really unlock anything. In fact, Zen mode stands out apart from Classic and Lightning in the fact that I don't think it even gets you any badges, so you really have no reason to play it other than you've done everything you feel like you want to do in Classic. And since there's no timer in Classic, there's not a big difference between Zen and Classic, other than Zen seems like you actually cannot lose, and Classic you can lose. However, Butterflies don't interest me at all, Diamond I Mine doesn't really interest me, Ice Storm I kinda hate, Poker seems like it's alright. Uh, however, with the Quest mode, we're on the final item, and there's not a lot here that to go with. So we'll, we'll just start here. Uh, Gold Rush 4, the obviously going to be a rather difficult of the Gold Rushes, if not the most difficult Gold Rush. Uh, you've got to dig down and it's more of a challenge than it was the last time. So it wants me to get 10. Heck, I just got 2 with that explosion. If I get really lucky, maybe we can get this to actually work. There's another 2. And they've added these rock elements, I've just realized. Uh, which certainly makes it more difficult. There's another 3. Hey, and just like that, I think I've won. I had 35 seconds more to go. And there's our throne. All of these items definitely feel like they are targeted to a female audience. You have your throne, you have a crown, uh, but more of a TRS crown. So that's where 50% done. There's still 20 quests. You have a cup that has some intrinsic, almost like earring dangles off of them. You have a book, which you could think is a spell book, or you could just call it a book. You have a vial, which you could think is a perfume vial, or you could think is a vial for anything else. It's, it's pretty generic, but no swords. No shields, uh, no weapons of war, no no lions, no, no dogs, no, nothing, nothing gruesome or, or things that you would just even have in the same uh, medieval theme. I guess at this point, I want to see how far we can go. Can we get at least this first tier all done? And I don't see a reason why we shouldn't. This, this is going to be relatively easy. Just have to move sort of fast and keep it sort of balanced. Uh, the, the one thing that would kill us is if we actually couldn't match any reds or blues. Let's see. Uh, actually, this might kill me. Yep, I screwed it up. Moved a little too fast, or maybe that was just an unlucky start. Let's see. And there is blue. Quest completed. So we did that real quick. And so now we're getting little secondary gems. Avalanche. 
Gems drop after each move, match AD before the board completely fills up. So basically just play well. Every move should be purposeful and intelligent. Nothing should make it more difficult to make the next match because we need to set up those next matches. I guess theoretically if you have something like green that's not going to match anything else you want it where on top where there's a good chance of it matching with a new drop. See, this just, just doesn't feel fair. <laughs> it really doesn't. I feel like I'm playing perfectly fine, and yet the game is just like, Nope, you're not doing good enough. You're about to lose it. It really gets down to just, what do you want from a game? We've got 61, so we need about 19 more. And see, if I don't match this, I think I'm dead. Or if I don't match at least something, uh, I think you'd lose right then and there. Because I don't think... Two will fall. That's an actually interesting question. Oh, no, two will fall, so perfectly fine. I guess the game is a little more generous than it seems. Seven more pieces are all that's needed. Really, none of these should be difficult. Need one more piece. Quest there we go. These are the earliest of the early. Here's the buried treasures. And we did the hardest version of this, so it shouldn't be incredibly difficult to do the easier versions of these. Although, very often it felt like I was just succeeding out of luck and nothing else. piece of armor and a sword and shield. I did complain about that just a second ago, didn't I? Now we'll get that. This one square eliminated. How do we do it? We got 48 seconds to figure out a way to do that. Hmm. You know, you could probably make an argument that some of this stuff by 2018 standards you could call a game like this almost a low effort game that's a phrase i've i've started using very low effort games in particular uh, is is more commonly used uh or just asset flip like that shield that sword that suit of armor probably pre-made assets I don't think that really justifies calling Bejeweled an asset flip, though. Uh, however, if somebody were to make a game 
like this today, knowing that Bejeweled already exists. At best, I call it a clone. At worst, I call it a very low effort game or an asset flip. Uh, and while in my mind it's okay to clone games, particularly if you are at least attempting to do something different or improve upon something, uh, asset flips and very low effort games are just not acceptable. Since I every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday stream Hearthstone and talk about video game news, and a lot of that video game news is built around looking at every single game that came out on Steam uh, in the past couple of days, that I see a lot of really low effort games, just basically scams, chances, gambles by people that you would barely call video game creators. I've got 13 moves to match this, and I'm not, not finding anything great. Well, that is solved. How can I... If I do this... <laughs> Excuse me. That's one down. But I desperately need, need to get maybe this will work. Okay. Play that. Play that. Two more time bombs, and then we're done. So what would be cool here, now that we've gotten this item, is if this equaled some ability or some kind of retry. I played this game called Regency Solitaire, where it's basically just a card matching solitaire game. It's not Free Cell or Klondike, the basic solitaires most people would uh, recognize. Uh, but close enough and as you play through the game you would get items and those items would unlock abilities it doesn't seem like that's the case here so yeah we just did that and it really feels like it didn't do anything for us it, it didn't feel like it it, it would have popped up a box Maybe this tree is getting brighter or getting greener as we play the game and get higher scores and finish the quest. That's a possibility. But yeah, I'm not seeing a lot. So then the question is can I do all of these? Probably. Uh, I don't really like butterflies, but I think I can probably do it. There is an achievement slash badge for getting a considerable amount of butterflies in one turn, but I, I'm not even sure you could get it in this current setup uh, because I, there just may not be enough on screen at any one time. Um, I've got to find a match or they won't move forward, so I'm just going to do that, and then do that, as a combo, hmm. 
with this white one moved out of the way in the position I did not want him to do that in. So let's We'd have to match 25 butterflies. I don't think we're gonna do that in time. Hmm. It's just a terrible match over here. Seem to take pity on me in that instance. Um, now I'm up to 20 butterflies. We needed five more. I think we may have lucked out here. Just do that. Now that screwed up the alignment. Both of these will go up and match, so if I could just get the green going. Blues. And see, we only need one more butterfly anyways. So if I could just find a match right now. Done. Hmm. Move on to balance two. Just try to keep this happening. Get rid of all the screens. Well, that was a ton of a ton of reds. Let's see, that wasn't my fault at all. That was just a random collection. Yeah. Pretty often we run into instances like this where it's it's just the game deals you a bad hand and then that turns this into something like poker where you have to play for hours and hours until you get a lucky hand and that's just not something I want. fast enough to solve that. Time bombs. Get rid of 15 of them. Ooh, and these are actually timed time bombs. I didn't think they were, the time bombs were timed. I thought they were... Uh, I thought they were a different system. This isn't gonna go well. Start over early. Let's see. It seems like the game is giving me some generous drops. Probably not a bad idea to keep these up high. Let's see. Gotta find something and do it, whatever it is. Again, if there is a keyboard for hint, let me see if H does anything. Nope. Uh, that would be very helpful. There was a keyboard code for just him. Ugh. Game 
So we need four more. Was a joke. Alright, so now if I could just get purple. Come on, give me one freaking purple piece. Twenty seconds. So you don't have like a protection or anything. So this is just gonna this is just gonna happen in ten seconds. So I needed three more that time. I prefer my gameplay to come close to death, and not actually achieve it. A considerable number of games I've played die maybe once or twice for some silly reason. Uh, very possibly not die at all in a 60 hour game. It's not hyper prevalent, but it has happened. Uh, to, to have your entire run of your game uh, be built around just a ticking timer and random pieces dropping is just not super fun to me and see that's kind of my problem with Hearthstone also the, the card game because you're playing against other players and it's just I, I'm in a reset loop at this point uh, giving up too early Hearthstone is the is a card game designed to make you win about 50% of the time. Make everybody win about 50% of the time. Which is an incredibly low win to loss ratio uh, for most video games. Uh, many video games, you're, you're, you're running 99%, 75% at least in every endeavor you try. That's kind of one of the things I love about video games is that they're not representative of the real world where where you're likely to fail even giving it your best effort. Um, interesting. Double blow up there. It's just like no yellows. Hmm. Uh, I didn't mean to activate that hypercube. I was gonna hold on to it in, in the hopes that that would save me. So we need seven more. more seconds. Another 60 seconds. Hmm. 
four more. Three more. That'll be slightly painful. Four, two more. And... Put that one down. Did that add anything? Nope. Just wasting time. One more. And of course it's gonna be a red one again. Because this game has gotten pretty trolly at this point. Uh give me a hint. My help. Who knows? Got all these red ones and like yeah if I could just get a white one or a red one now in the next 22 seconds 18 seconds ooh, ooh. oh the game helped me the game helped me there I guess we have one more we could try, but I really feel like at this point playing Poker 2 could be done, and Butterfly Suites could be done, Gold Rush and Strategy could be done, but I don't think it's really worth it. If I get all of these done, then that'll put me at the halfway point uh, of the quest. So... Maybe there's some reward other than just a quick you earn this badge animation, but I seriously doubt there is. Uh, it feels like there's no real way you could... Or you might be able to beat classic gameplay after 10 levels, but I, I don't feel like I'm going to get to that point in the next hour of gameplay or so yeah i think we only have one more recording of this series it's it's been certainly odd to inherently from the word go know that this series had a limited lifespan on it uh it's not something i normally would want to do uh, feeling that extra pressure to to play a game in a certain amount of time feels a lot like what the problems with being a video games journalist are. Uh, got pretty close there. Uh, I don't like how it zooms out of the screen and you have to come back in. Uh, video game journalists have in the past at least been required to rush through games to get get their reviews out on release date and often it causes them to not put enough thought into the reviews not play the game all the way to the end uh, and generally just have a bad experience that eventually helps expand upon a, a growing issue of video game journalists just not being really in line with an average video game player or not really being into playing video games at all. A lot of video game journalists are, were just failed journalists in the first place, so um, they never liked video games in the first uh, They just took the job because it was a job. A great move. So I need just a little bit more. And yeah, I think this will work just fine. Let's just go get the blue. Turns 
your book from being purple into gold. And see, we're at like 70% now. And the only thing we could do is just keep on going down this way. I don't feel like I really want to do that. Let's see. Let's look at the badges. There is also a point to be said that doing quest mode is not giving me experience. So this this rank 2 apprentice has not gone up. Um, quest mode completion at 70%. Gain, gems matched. All this. Total play time now has been 3.1 hours according to me. Uh, every time we end we look at all of these. I want to play, let's see, let's play a game of Diamond Mind and then let's move over to poker. Thanks. Just, I don't know what I'm even actually supposed to be doing with Diamond Mind. If there's a considerable item or something that, that I need to collect or if it's collect five items, I think it's maybe collect five items. Uh, which you can see there's only one item right now on it. This has that lightning mode issue. Certainly aware that there's definite problems with that. And apparently. I like that money sound. Hmm. So we clear this section and now we move forward. Clearing the next section, I guess. I assume that's how this is supposed to work. not even a item to collect here. So got like thirty seconds and then I'm gonna lose. It wants me to make a pointless match. Seems like it may start looking for matches at the top left section, making it kind of a useless suggestion, always. 31,000. Let's see, so playing this, this helps. I guess if I ever got any diamonds, I'd probably get something nice there. Uh, I said I was only going to play this once, but I'll give it a second try. Uh, this game kind of gets to the level of something where I think, you know what, if, if I was just... Um, if I was just sitting around and had this on my cell phone, I could see playing playing this every now and then. It, it's the kind of game that I would have installed but wouldn't, wouldn't check on a daily basis or anything like that. Uh, there, there are some modes that are cool and it doesn't have anything like daily quests and maybe to its detriment, maybe to its grace, uh, that's the case. Uh, like I've seen I've kind of gotten frustrated with games that have daily quests because it's just that it's such a demand on the player's time. Um, so. hmm. Let's. 
probably not super helpful to have done that right then. Had I played better, and if that was one area lower, that would have worked kind of nicely. This mode runs out of steam because it, it doesn't give you enough time back. Uh, you're, even if you're an absolute great player at this, it, you're still going to be in a bad position. Uh, unless you're, you're playing really, really fast. Faster than I think is reasonable to ask a player to play. Bejeweled seems to have this double standard of is this a slow paced zen like game or is this a, uh, a high speed esports game? Uh, it seems to want to be both and it really can't be both. And I'm not really getting any better. If I collected one more item, I would have gotten that badge, that first badge. But that's kind of it. And what am I even trying to do with poker? Come to think of it. Hmm. I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, I kind of burned out on everything. Let's just play lightning. Let's just see. We're at the halfway point, or past the halfway point of how long I was gonna play this game, and and let's see how much I've improved, how much extra time I can get in lightning mode. Uh, so the whole thing about this, I played. The wrongly there uh, is to get a bunch of extra time as you build up extra time then that extra time becomes a score multiplier so you're recursively going to have less and less time more than likely like I'm gonna have 35 seconds in the next to, to get some more seconds and in getting some more seconds uh, I'll then be at a higher multiplier so right then I didn't get any time 
added, by the way. Now I'll have five seconds with a higher multiplier. See, at this level, getting hints not even going to be useful. So now I have 15 seconds at the third multiplier, and at this level, it's unlikely I'll get any, any more, so I should just be trying to get as many matches as possible. So the last hurrah, things just explode, and how much did I get in the last hurrah? Um, I guess not that much. So maybe the idea to increase your last hurrah is to not have any of the, the special gems used? and instead keeping those till the end. That's probably the best move. So just do a lot of setup. Because that took me so long to find that move. But I'm in a bad run already. It really just takes one bad thing to happen to, to put me off of a certain game. That's why I probably wouldn't do too well in something in some kind of sport where it takes like an hour to play a game golf, tennis, football I'd just probably give up rather quickly if I was having an off day golf in particular I guess is a great example of that where, where you can you're just kind of expected to continue playing even if even if you're you're doing horribly, uh, you might do horrible for entire seasons, and nobody seems to really care too much. How come they're giving me ten seconds there? Hmm. That was bad. I'm really kind of amused as far as what to even do in the next hour. But I think we'll probably just play Classic for an hour. It doesn't feel like there's really anything to, to do otherwise. Uh, we can certainly try some of the quests, but kind of it. We've played all the game modes. I think I've probably disliked more of the game modes than I've liked, which is a sad statement. This is Bejeweled 3, so if I was to play Bejeweled 1 or 2, I think I probably also would have to come off pretty critical of that, because I imagine Bejeweled 1 is just classic mode. And arguably, you may not need to actually own, heck, I don't own Bejeweled 1 or Bejeweled 2, or I believe there's also Bejeweled Blitz and one other game in the series. Hmm. So there, there is something you want to do with the last two raw with the explosive pieces, but also you want to keep your game going, so you have to be very strategic about whether you use it or not. Still not 100% clear how and why these time increases drop. They seem to be kind of random. If they are random, then that seems unfair. Let's hit that.
at the very least, doubling your score is nice. Yeah, let's see if we can get more time. Come on, show me your hands. Keep that hollow key for the last row. And keep this. Keep this going. I've got no choice. Play it now or leave it. Um, I might as well play. So now we're up to trainee rank 3. Um, but apparently none of that was high enough. Let's see, get over 20,000 points during the last hurrah in lightning mode during the bronze badge. So maybe if I had left a hypercube alone and not used it, that would have been a smarter move. Get 10 flushes. I could do that. Score 100,000 on glaciers. Don't care to do that. Hmm. Guess we'll try that again. We're gonna give it one more, one final gameplay of playing lightning mode. Hmm. I don't know what this adds, honestly. The, the time stress. See, if they were to make a Bejeweled 4, I would think maybe what you do is a strategy over the internet shadowing idea where you're playing against somebody on the same table and you're, you're competing to see who can reach the highest score. Uh, I have certainly something in my head that tells me I, I'm much more happy with competing against random strangers over the internet than I am random scores that are pretty much just made up by the creators of the game and very possibly are not, not really even designed to be attainable. Uh, having come from playing NES games that were literally designed to not be beatable, uh, I still have enough of a fear of that being the case in modern games that, that I keep an eye out for things that feel like that, even if they are, aren't actually like that. And frankly, uh, nowadays just the level of, of, the level of skill required to beat a game has been pretty lowered. And I think that's a good thing. Games have gotten easier and and because of that more accessible. And if for the hardcore players out there there's still the first person shooters, but for the people playing the jeweled in particular, yeah, that's I don't think that needs to be the jeweled players. So, so that should have gotten me a badge. So we got the bronze final thing. But that was it. Hmm. So score over 30,000 points in the last hurrah in lightning mode uh, is the next thing and it feels like more than likely no we we've seen this one particularly jump up in a single game so maybe these achievements and badges work a little bit differently maybe you do have to do it multiple times and, and have 
a bronze level winning game, then a silver level winning game, and then a, a gold level, then a platinum level. Probably could cheat this all pretty easily too with just a save file. Although, uh, maybe not because you'd still have to play. Hmm. And see, I just don't want to play Ice Storm or Butterflies. I, I literally just don't want to do it. And I kind of don't want to get into the quests and like try to to get all of these done. Guess we'll do poker. Hmm. Although we probably don't have time to do poker. Green. That's, that's been a pretty heavy-handed green. So, let's just go with purple. And purple. So we needed 3,500. And if we get the score early, I guess I don't see a reason why that wouldn't just happen. Hmm. Not really set up well for anything, so I'm gonna go purple and then purple and then yellow, green, and just go with white for a hundred. That way we can set up for the next hand a lot better. Let's see. Purple. Purple. Red. Red. Hmm. Can we get one more purple or red? No. So let's take a yellow. Hmm. And then we'll go white. White. This is taking too long. Like, I don't have enough of a score. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, if I can move this here and this here and then have these two specifically somehow fall down and make a six row I'd get an achievement for that but I, I don't even know how you'd specifically do that seems seems impossible and yet somehow they say you can do it it's purple Sadly, I can't do fifth purple, which would bump us up quite a bit. Hmm. We're halfway there and just barely halfway on the score. So that was red or orange. That's red or orange. red and let's see if we do that and do that we go hmm. let's see how many 
yellows can we get? One yellow, two yellows, three yellows, four yellows, and unfortunately, just a green one. Hmm. Three hands left. There's another yellow now. How many greens can we get? Orange. Red. Green. White. Apparently that green didn't stick, so we'll take that green. And then we'll just take a blue for a spectrum. Which we really can't afford to do. We still kind of have nothing. Red. And red. And yellow. Last hand, I have to get, well, at least a full house. It's not too bad. Let's see. What if I do this and then that? And then that. See, if I can get this to a blue, I can get four of a kind. Otherwise, I've got to match something else. What do I match? Take an orange here. I can't make any more oranges. I uh, don't see any purple matches. I don't see any blue matches. Otherwise, I'd be doing that. I could take a green. I think that's the right move is to do that. And then do that. Now we're at 72% completed. And yeah, I just don't feel like it's worth it to, to go down this route on this. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I tell you, it sure feels like, considering I'm rejecting so much of this game, I'm just, just having a back and forth between and am I enjoying it or am I not enjoying it? it the game feels kind of short and small because of the fact that there's there's a lot of variety here and in the danger of making of varied gameplay mechanics you lose potentially players you potentially lose players when things uh, are different sometimes people don't like change see we apparently haven't even played Butterflies uh, well enough to get to a, a score. Whereas Classic Lightning and Poker are all in the top four. I thought when I first started this that I'd actually get all the achievements, but you know, after a couple hours and seeing how some how difficult some of these these are, it's, it's not really worth it. Uh, I could imagine playing this off and on for a couple of years and still not having all the achievements for most people. Uh, just because I bet there's not too many people that are just going to want to play it all day uh, for, for a month. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box and if you want to support me 
Please friend me on Steam and gift me a game or a gift card. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.